about to get your BTO, think twice because this may not be the best investment ever. Hello everyone, welcome to Wonder Saturday and I am Chloe. If this is the first time that you come to our channel Financial Joy TV, remember to hit the subscribe button because every day we'll be sharing with you awesome content. A lot of us like Singaporeans, right? Especially when you're about to get married or when you're serious about your dating relationship. The couple will start talking about getting a house together and that is more likely to be BTO. And our parents, our relatives have been telling us you have to go and get a BTO if it's like government give you this house at a super subsidized rate. Think twice because this may not be the best investment ever. Firstly, why you shouldn't get BTO? Because you don't know whether the relationship will work out. Why if it doesn't work out, you have to forfeit whatever uh, deposit that you have. To <laughs> but that is beside the point. From a very logical financial and investment point of view, it's actually not so fantastic to get BTO after all. Recently, I went to attend this property course conducted by iQuadrant, which I thought was eye-opening for me. In the past, I always thought that BTO is good to go. But after attending this course, it started to change my mind towards how much time I actually lose by going for a BTO in order to go and get the queue number and in order to even to go and select a unit and wait for the unit to build. It usually takes three years. Three years of your life has to be spent waiting in order for this BTO to even be built. And after that, you have to wait for five years, minimum occupation period that you need to spend in order to sell away your house. So if you add three years with five years together, in total, you actually spend eight years waiting before you can actually sell away the house. Think about it, if you invest in a private property, let's say a condominium, as long as you work out your finances and if you are able to afford it, you can sell it off the next year just that you'll be taxed. But usually people wait for like three years or more in order to minimize the selling tax. In this case, you save a lot of time and in these three years, you can already sell off your private condo and you can actually buy another one. And the second thing is the appreciation value for a condo and BTO is a lot of difference. So that is why if you decide to buy a BTO, even though at first you need to fork out less money, but your capital gain is also lesser. Of course, I'm not an expert in this property industry. I just went to attend this workshop and this program, which I thought that was pretty good. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I took away from this program. And I hope that it helped you to enlighten your mind a little bit more. If you want to find out more, definitely you need to go there to experience yourself how you can use property to generate passive income. So if you're interested in this free talk, remember just to click the button below so you never know what you're going to learn. So if you like today's video, remember to share and subscribe to our Financial Joy TV and of course own YouTube channel Chloe Ling TV where we'll be also be sharing with you some different contents that you don't get to see on this channel. So I will see you next Saturday. Bye!